And let's talk about Andrew Jackson again because he gave us the Indian Removal Act of 1830. Over 100,000 adults and children marched away from their ancestral lands. And you see how many of them died on the way. And you know why we had to do it? We had to do it because of this. Cotton was king in the South. And if the Civil War was about slavery and about money, then what kind of money are we talking about? Look at these figures. By 1840, cotton represented almost 60% of all United States exports. The production went from 1.5 million pounds in 1790 to 2.25 billion pounds by 1859. By 1860, the value of enslaved people in America was greater than the value of every bank, factory, and railroad combined. This is money. And what I am suggesting to you is, if you want to know why the Civil War happened, follow the money. Because that will tell you the truth virtually any time. There were more millionaires per capita in 1860 in the Mississippi Valley, one of the poorest sections in America today. More millionaires per capita than anywhere else in America, and that was because of slavery. These are facts that, in, these, are not, these are not anything that's in dispute. You can confirm this yourself. And one of the things that I would like to suggest is when we are thinking about this, we have to go back and look at our history. And this is where, man, talk about having a physical reaction. These people forgot the story of King Cotton. How many people here are from the South? So I don't know if anybody here, have you ever had King Cotton bacon or King Cotton sausage? Okay, I see, I grew up in Tennessee. This was like, this was the life bread of my family. You know, King Cotton was just, it was a food product and it was on everything. And it was like in my childhood. Well, this is a picture from Memphis, Tennessee and you can see the King Cotton logo over there. And there was even the Hotel King Cotton, which was like the fanciest hotel in Memphis. And then I found out what King Cotton meant. Because it didn't mean this, which is what it meant to me as a kid. King Cotton was the theory that rich people in the South used to say, we can secede from the Union and it will work economically. Because if we cut off, uh, cut off cotton uh, export, exports, we can shut down the entire textile industry in New England. And England and France will have to fight with us because we can shut down their textile industries. Remember, 60% of U.S. exports were cotton, and that was back in 1840. And it wasn't said any better than by this South Carolina senator who said this, without firing a gun, without drawing a sword, should they make war on us, we could bring the whole world to our feet. What would happen if no cotton was furnished for three years? England would topple headlong and carry the whole civilized world with her, save the South. No, you dare not make war on cotton. No power on earth dares to make war upon it. Cotton is king. When I found out that the king cotton bacon I had been eating was from this, it made me want to throw up. 